As how are we looking? All systems operational. Full Omega schematics coming online now. Let's take a look. I see. Shepard, those force fields we saw. The General has them set up everywhere. He's controlling access across the station. What are these dark areas? Many sections of Omega are powered down. I'm betting power is being siphoned to run those force fields. Find the source, priority one. And we'll need a full tactical assessment of all Cerberus positions. I'll get on it. Shepard, we have work to do. Our losses were significant. We can't field an army large enough to face down Cerberus. Then we need to find allies. Story of my life. We've confirmed there is a Merc gang that's still active. The Talons are resisting the occupation. Not my first choice, but they're all we've got. We'll make them join, one way or another. Perfectly put. Sorry to interrupt. What is it? I turned away for a second to offload supplies when I looked back. You lost her. Well, I... We're locked down. She's gotta be here somewhere. This bunker has secret access points to other parts of the station. Unfortunately, Nyreen knows them. Damn it, Bray. If I wasn't already short on manpower. We have to focus on getting the Talons on board. What's your history with this gang? Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Not my intention. Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Are we enlisting them because they're good or because we need numbers? Their cannon fodder, we're using them because they're the only game in town. You're gonna let them know that? Relax, Shepard. This is how it works on Omega. Just let me do the talking and... Looks like we fight our way through Cerberus to get to them. Let's move. Ow. Last chance, Sally. Bit Sir One. What the? Back off! I don't think so. Take care of the wounded, and scavenge what you can. I want us out of here ASAP. You heard the boss. Move it. Looks like we found the Talon leader. My, my. Nyreen, aren't you full of surprises? Arya, the deception was necessary. I needed to figure out what your plans were. The people on Omega depend on us. I couldn't risk compromising our operation. Not exactly standard procedures for a street gang. When Cerberus invaded, the Talons were a mess. I brought... new direction. The General's been hunting us ever since. Right now, he's attacking one of our outposts. That's where I need to be. We're done here, boss. Right. Aria, Commander Shepard, whatever you're here for, the answer's no. Kindly escort yourselves off Talon territory. We're coming with you. You get our help now in return for hearing us out later. He has your charm, Aria. But not my patience. Fine. I don't have time to argue, and we can use the extra guns. Let's go.
We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before they're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters, and I had to kill them. Now if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. The adjutants really got under her skin. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right, but the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? Nyreen, watch and learn. As. Everything's in place. The entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten. And you will never be controlled. Be ready. Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega, my people, love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. The Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. We're almost there, Shepard. 
The Talons will be the frontline fodder. Now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You handled Nyrene perfectly, and got us an army. She wears her weakness on her chest. It would take more effort to stop myself from exploiting it. Let's hope she's up to the task. You and I will have to keep her on point. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Tentative excitement. Welcome to Herod's Emporium, human. Relieved. I am grateful for Arya's return. Hidden back room was getting confining. Her patrol liberated me. Curious, you seem familiar. I had a discount at your store the last time I was here. Enlightened, I see. Cunningly, I have a plan to recoup my losses since the Cerberus takeover. Informative, the General threw out Arya's couch from Afterlife upon taking over. I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Temptingly, if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it worth your while. It's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. Courteously, have me nice Talk to me, Az. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol, caught her in the perimeter. Please. You didn't catch me. We're... allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyrene was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So, like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyrene. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle. With them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me and haunts me. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. A few of my people surrendered, and he made good on his word. So he has a code. And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. 
Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our Asari friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic ability started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people, so I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. How close were you two? The draw was undeniable. Her strengths mirrored my insecurities. Maybe deep down it was the same for her. But trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. Irene Kandros was vanishing. You seem like your own person to me. For all the drama between us? I'm grateful to Arya. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. I appreciate it, Nyreen. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready.